favorite thing about Coach Tucker is just how much he cares, uh, how much he cares about football, how much he cares about this team, how much he cares about me individually, as just like every other person on the team individually, um, how much he cares about, you know, just Colorado in general, you know, he just is just one of the guy that just cares. He'll give us all to this program, He'll give us all for each one of us. And, um, you know, like I said, I'm grateful. And, you know, there's, there's a lot of coaches around the nation, you know, you're not gonna find a lot of guys that care that much about you as a person, the team as a whole. And, um, you know, and you can tell by the way he coaches, the way he talks to people, the way he interacts with people, you know, he really cares. He genuinely loves and appreciates every one of us. And, you know, we feel the same back. He always brings a great attitude to the team and he definitely relates to the players. And that's something uh, everyone can appreciate when you can relate with your coach. Uh, uh, gets pretty much gets all the players on the same little basis and they can all feel like they can talk to him uh, about whatever and whenever. You know, he likes to like joke around with us and uh, have a good time with us, but uh, when it's time to work, he knows how to switch and not to be serious. He's kind of a, a comedian when he gets out there on the field. He's like a completely different person where he's like coaching you hard, coaching you tough, but at the same time, he knows how to talk a little trash and have fun with it. And he doesn't get mad if you talk a little trash back. Like it's a, it's a fun report. He gonna yell at you, but he also is gonna pat you on the back, like let you know when you do good. So like. As, as, a, as a man, when you grow up, you love, you know, to have people that really believe in you. He looks, he rifles it, and it is picked off by the Buffaloes. The first career interception for K.J. Trahill. Throw. The bus pickup covered throw to Katie Nixon on a crossing pattern, and he wants his hand for touchdown by number three. <laughs> and Steven Montez has got his first rushing touchdown oh, of 2019. a slant left side and there goes LaVisca and he's on his way hasta la visca baby 2015 10 5 touchdown touchdown Colorado well, I really love to see players get better to improve even if it's just a small improvement you know sometimes you work on something work on something work on something you don't get the results until maybe you know, a week or two weeks down the road and it really starts to click with the guy. When I see that light bulb go off in the kid's head and, you know, they kind of look at me and I look at them and I'm like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. How that feel, you know? And they, they see where they're benefiting, where they're getting better. That's what motivates me. And I know that I can help players. UCLA game, you know, uh, I end up dropping two balls. Coach Tuck told me, hey, big fella, calm down. You know, you got this. All you got to do is just calm down, catch the ball, and, you, and you, you'll be you. And once he said that, it's just like, now I have no, you know what I'm saying, like no doubt in me because my head coach still believes in me. You know, I'm not, I'm not having a game that I want. And he also knows that, but he also said, hey, trust yourself, man. You got it. And, and from there on out, I didn't never drop a ball again. So, that dude, that, it's, it's really crazy because Coach Tucker is really the best. And that's what motivates me every day because like I know that if I can just get my hands on these guys and if I can just get them on the field, I can just get them in the meeting room and I can just capture their mind, I know that I can get them better. I know that I can help them achieve. There's just a certain um, amount of gratification you get when you've been working with the player day in and day out, blood, sweat and tears, and you see them have, have success on the playing surface. To me, there's, there's nothing like that.
jumping up and making the crane. Sticks it in the gut of Katie Nixon. Returns the corner. They don't hold the edge. He's up to sideline. He's running to the left from Marlon. He ties to the end zone. Touchdown! Touchdown, Colorado! <laughs> Throws, and it is picked off by Rickstraw at the 19-yard line. And he's brought down by Weddington. So Evan Price, the young player, lines up for a kick from the 24. It's a 34-yard field goal, and the Evergreen Colorado Cougar knocks that one through the upright. They give it off on the end around the Lavisca Chanel, who runs over the top of an offender and discards the defensive player and chucks him aside. Here comes pressure in his face. He steps up. He got away from lying, and then he goes down. He's grabbed behind, and he's sacked that time. Remember who you are. In the yards, make it a 37-yard kick for the win. It's up. It is on its way, and the price is right. And down go the tree. With a 16 13 win. All right, what it's like when I'm Coach Tucker, you know, he always brings a relentless attitude every day. Um, he's making sure we're working hard, and he brings that intensity every practice, every meeting, and that's something that gets every, every player pumped up and making sure they're ready for practice in all the game. Oh, it's really, you know, I, I, I run through a brick wall. You know, Coach Tucker got your back, and you got his back. So, <laughs> honestly, I feel like everybody on the staff really knows that Coach Tucker got their back. So, any, anybody will do anything for Coach Tucker, and I. I think everybody can vouch for that. It's intense. He brings like a this just tenacious attitude that we have to go out there and fight. We got to keep as a team as a whole. I've noticed just everybody wants to fight and keep trying to win and try to do what we can to be successful. I want players to know that because they play for me and they they work with me, that I'm always going to be there for them. You know, whether they're they're beyond their playing days. When you coach and when you're coaching a game, I mean, there's a, you know, there's a lot of serious moments, but there's a lot of moments that are not so serious and you do have fun with the players and they have fun with you. And I want them to think back about that. I mean, earlier in the season, you know, I was going to do some stuff off the field and, you know, I went upstairs and I actually went upstairs you know, not even looking to see Coach Tuck, or not even looking to talk to Coach Tuck. I was going up there to talk to, you know, uh, Coach Summers and Coach Cook and go review football stuff. And then, you know, Coach Tucker kind of noticed that I was kind of a little bit down. And, you know, he called me in his office and I was just walking by, you know, in the open door policy I talked about. I was walking by, he called me in there and, you know, closed the doors, talked to me about, you know, uh, just real, real stuff. Um, so I went through some stuff and, you know, he helped me through it. Just gave me some, gave me a talk and gave me some words that, you know, I can apply in football and, and, and not in football. Um, just, just you know, like I said earlier, just, just having so much experience that he has, and, you know, just the love and care that he has, you know, because he didn't have to, he didn't have to talk to me, you know, he didn't have to, he didn't have to, you know, call me over while I was walking by, but he chose to, and you know that that made me feel much better, and you know, and I, I felt much better since then, and I can apply that whenever I'm down now. I want them to 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 know that Coach Tuckman, that's my guy, and I think if if uh, players can can feel that that they were better off because they, they played for me and they came to see you, then I've done my job.